Gabby Daginaldo Sorensen, and I'm an artist. I was born in Denmark. Um, my dad's from Denmark and my mom's from the Philippines. But when I was six months old, my parents decided to move back to the Philippines to my mom's family. They're from a tiny little village in the northern part of, of the Philippines, a um, little fishing village called Davila. sitting um, on the floor of this gallery. I was about three and just had all my toys around me and all this chaos going on, you know, just everywhere of women just hanging up pictures and there's other children just running around everywhere. When I was about 13, um, my parents then decided to, to move back to Denmark. I was getting to that age where I kind of really needed to kind of settle in one place and get like a proper education. Transitioning from Filipino into more of a Western culture I suppose was quite tricky for me. A lot of the values that I'd learnt from the Philippines were quite different in, in Denmark so suddenly going into a Danish school suddenly um, it was very important that you you have a strong personality, that you're opinionated. In the Philippines, very focused around you know family values. Um, you know, family and the community are the most important things. While in Denmark and you know a lot of other Western cultures, it's it's almost it's very focused on the individual. And I found that I think I found that quite difficult to, to focus on. I felt that I that the Western world was you know, asking me to change everything that I'd that I'd kind of come from um, growing up in the Philippines. I've been influenced a lot by, I think, my mom being an artist as well. Um, even though she was, I think she was most productive when I was probably younger, when I was when I was younger and she was able to take me to exhibitions and, and those sorts of things. My whole life I have just been um, just surrounded by by her paintings, surrounded by you know these beautiful colours. Whatever house I lived in, there was always a couple of my mom's paintings, and and now that I'm painting, I can I can really see um, I can see her art coming coming out in in, in my art. So her use of colour and her use of movement, um, I can. It's good to see that there is that um, continuity, I suppose. Inspired by the, you know, the old impressionistic masters, um, I loved Renoir, um, the French impressionist. Um, just the, his use of colour and movement in his paintings. Um, Degas, I just loved because um, just all these beautiful, you know, scenes, with ballet dancers um, back in the old day, and again his use of brushstrokes and the just the intensity of colour in his palette. Um, Koya is one of my, one of my favourite Danish painters. Um, Monet, I love just because, oh yeah, I can't explain it. I, I went to his garden last year and I just saw, um, I just really saw, I suppose, how, what he got inspired of, just nature around him. Um, again, in the way that he uses you know, those dots and the, that it looks like it's all muddled up and then you step away and then there's this, just this beautiful scenery of, of water lilies and that it doesn't necessarily have to be realistic but it's it's the colour and the movement and the brush strokes. I get inspired by, by that and I think you can see from a lot of my paintings there's, it's just like a whole heap of colour and yeah, texture and movement. People do ask me a lot, you know, where, where, you know, where is home for you, or where you, do you think you're going to live for the rest of your life? It's something I've spent a lot of time thinking about, and I just come back to the same conclusion, and that it's just like I'm made out of different bits and pieces, you know, of of, of my culture, um, of people that I've met, and experiences that I've had, and and maybe um, it's not 
that important to define, you know, being part of a specific group or being part of a, you know, country or that, yeah, maybe, yeah, the important thing is that all these things come together and, and actually make a person.